Who's the highest rated afternoon personality in Chicago radio? Big John Howell. That's who. US 79, US 79, US 79, US 79. Remember it, write it down, live it, love it, learn it, US 79. the best job in America. You're looking at the best job in America right now, in my humble opinion. I get paid for doing nothing, money for nothing. Hello there. America's most listened to country music station is this one, US 99. Big John in the afternoon at 426. John Howell is number one afternoon drive in the 25 to 54 year old demographic. For this month, I am the number one guy. But you're never more than a month away from your best or worst rating book. Something to remember. Never get too excited, never Have get too depressed. Have you ever been the number one disc jockey in Chicago in any quarter before? Yeah, one time in 93. Sure. Yeah. I beat Johnny B once! <laughs> one doggone rating book I beat that bastard! The deal is that you have to remember that a lot of radio stations shoot for a certain demographic like there are certain rock stations are maybe maybe like the younger people mm -hmm. and then uh, like an oldie station they'll go for the older people okay with country music what is great is if you go to a country concert you will see a five-year-old there and then sitting three chairs down there's an 80 year old woman there so we have such a great span life group it's incredible everybody likes country music it's stereotypical to say that uh, country music is about your wife leaving and your dog dying and jumping in the pickup truck. It's not anymore. Country music reflects the values of America from left to right, from top to bottom. Every song's a story, and if you listen to country music long enough, you'll find a song that pertains almost exactly to your life. That's the beauty of it. That's what makes it special. That's what makes it different. special message concerning the future of 94.7 FM. Welcome to the celebration. 10,000 songs all in a row. No commercials. And when we stop, someone will win $10,000. 94.7 Kicks Country. Woo! I love it. The people who would say they prefer to listen to country music is larger in Chicago than the share that US 99 has of that life group right now. So we expect that by having a choice in the marketplace that will expand the shares on the radio in the market because there, there is another choice now. So we'll expand the category and uh, I'm sure we'll share audience with US 99 how much remains to be seen. But uh, I think that both stations can continue to do very well in the market. Anytime you put a, another country station in the market, uh, it expands the life group, more country listeners. I think it's wonderful. Competition is good, and anything that expands the country music audience, we welcome. We are Chicago's hot new country station. Always have been, always will be. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Grew up listening to CFL and WLS and OKY out of Milwaukee and Larry Lou Jack, among others. So Chicago radio was what I grew up listening to. Radio has traditionally been part of our whoop, our landscape here in, as part of the lifestyle and not just um, background music. Um, you go back to the great radio personalities that have come out of our market, um, whether it's Larry Lujak or, or um, John Records Landecker, who's still doing a great job, um, even Bob Surratt, who's, who's still on on the other medium and periodically sneaks back into radio. They are part of the, they're celebrities in this town. And um, if you go to other markets, the radio personalities just aren't as popular. They're not as much a part, I think, of the lifestyle.